Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. And if you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. Hey, my apologies. Uh, no hair and makeup efforts today as I am still doing prep work for Hurricane Helene. So I just wanted to jump in as quickly as I can, get your reading done. I think I'm going to do you and Sagittarius and try to get them um, prepared to be published because I'm going to be MIA for a while. So thanks for your understanding. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the best I could do. Um, I'm pulling from Divine Master's Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message comes through for you today. This one looks good. Ah, you got what Virgo got. Saint Germain, the violet flame. Alchemy, release the old, make way for the new. One of my all-time favorites. Beautiful. Release the old, make way for the new. Little Leo there in his hiding place. He's been aware of all the activity. Um, <laughs> been running around like a whirling dervish, cleaning as my daughter is coming to stay since she lives at the beach and is in a ma uh, mandatory evacuation zone. So poor little boy knows something's happening and he's not happy. Oh well. This is a beautiful energy and the whole reason for this new spread that I'm using is about focusing on lessons from past relationships, baggage we carry forward, what we need to release, what might be blocking us in, from these relationships and maybe blocking us from new love even? Um, what do we need to forgive and where should we focus on self-love? So that's the spread I'm using. I'll walk you through it. We'll get details from the clarifiers. Here we go. Ah, lesson. I love your lesson. Oh, baggage. Boy. Release the block. Ooh, your block is interesting. Forgive. Mm-hmm. And self-love. Ooh. I like your self-love. Okay. So briefly here, um, strength card. So what lesson from past relationships? And maybe even the one you've come here to watch about. Because I kind of snuck this spread in on you. It's more of a shadow-related spread. So... It, Something to do with overcoming obstacles and coming through things stronger, right? It's about gathering up your strength, your courage, and your confidence to face things head on instead of letting things kind of um, zap your strength. Um, so that's part of your lesson. We'll get the details from the clarifiers. And the baggage, what are you potentially carrying from... Those past relationships, King of Cups, nobody is emotionally available for you. Baggage. This is, by the way, Scorpionic energy. This King of Cups is associated with the sign of Scorpio. So if you're here as a cross watcher for a Scorpio, ding, ding, ding. If you are the Scorpio, it could also be about your own emotional availability. It doesn't have to represent masculine energy necessarily it can just be about emotional availability in general um, and the question of whether or not you want to be emotionally available right because that kind of ties in to the strength the lesson here with the strength card uh, release what do you need to let go of from these relationships the lovers card what you chose that didn't choose you. Gotta let it go. Lover's card is a card of choice. What's blocking you from either um, elevating this connection that you're here to watch about or from finding new love? What's blocking you? Page of Swords. Um, I normally see this as a card of curiosity, but it can also be a card of suspicions. Okay, like curiosity that killed the cat kind of an energy. So there could be a block here about um, what it is you're looking for in terms of are you looking for the negative? Are you only seeing the negative? Are you operating from suspicion, which is 
not intuition, so it's certainly more um, tapping into a lower vibration. And therefore, the self-fulfilling prophecy is you're going to find it. Um, what do you need to forgive? Queen of Pentacles. Uh, this Queen of Pentacles is, to me, coming through as that feminine archetype of a life partner, a wife, right? Somebody who's more settled. I should be settled by now. I should be living that life. Um, so you need to forgive that, like that you're not maybe where you thought you'd be at this point or in this relationship, or in any relationship. So I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles more as a symbol. Um, and then self-love is so interesting. What do you need to work on for self-love? The Wheel of Fortune, that you cannot control this. That, you know, the universe has a plan, and that there is a construct of divine timing. And it's not just divine timing, it's divine order. So it's almost about like sort of, you know, you know that saying, let go and let God. I know that that's tied to some very sacred principles, um, but it's sort of similar with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like the self-love thing is about let the universe handle everything else you focus on you. There's a blessing here around good karma, right? Trust that you're capable of being gifted with good karma and believe that it belongs to you, that it's your birthright. And just focus on you and let the universe, trust at first that the universe has your back. That's more related to the star card, but that something is being orchestrated behind the scenes that's a blessing for you. So there's what you need to focus on. Something good is coming my way. That's showing yourself self-love. It really is. I know it's kind of an interesting approach, but because I feel that Scorpio lives in shadow so much better than the rest of us do um, and has mastered shadow work, um, sometimes to a fault, <laughs> we're being honest, then I love that card, as, right? It's like, okay, I got good karma coming my way because I'm doing and like maybe overdoing sometimes my shadow work, I get the reward. Really interesting. Oh, and I love all the violet flame energy. Release the old, make way for the new. It's alchemy. It's beautiful. All right. Here's the lesson card, strength. And just so you know, in the extended, I am going to focus on the relationship you're here to watch about, just so you know. Oops. I haven't forgotten that. Yeah. Oh. The lesson is... Um, Instead of overcoming our obstacles here, it's like something escapes you or you escape it. Um, I, lo I love this Seven of Swords looking back at this Knight of Pentacles. What you think might take some time ends up just disappearing. Um, the Hermit can also be an escape hatch. There's something here about if, if something gets difficult in relationships, someone, I, it could be you, it could be your person. And remember, this can always come through reversed. Even if you're a cross watcher, this whole thing could be speaking to you directly. You know, somebody is, you know, retreating, becoming reclusive, becoming um, unapproachable, uh, not responsive avoidant, doing disappearing acts. And because the knights usually make offers, I'm seeing this knight as standing still. No offer is forthcoming. And it really zaps one's confidence. And it's a hard obstacle to overcome because either you're taking yourself out of the equation or the other person is. Because in this card, these two help each other. It requires the two of them. It's sort of the getting a leg up kind of a card where, you know, they're connected to each other sort of in an, inter an eternal bond of support. So if you're lacking that sort of 
energy of, well, when I'm a little down, I know I've got you, you to kind of boost me up. When you're a little off, you know, you've got me to boost you up. That's about the overcoming of obstacles. Um, but it seems like that eludes you in relationships. Um, and that's a difficult lesson to kind of overcome strength card. And there's the baggage, emotional unavailability. That you may be carrying around. Whether it's your own emotional availability or someone else's. Yeah. Feeling discarded. Feeling um, ghosted. Wow. All the worry that comes from that, the anxiety that comes from that, the wondering, you know, did they not want me? Was I not desirable enough? Right? We have love and passion here, and the baggage is sitting right there in the middle. The rejection, the abandonment, the, like, like, devaluing of you as a person. And what that says to you and how it feeds into a loop in your mind that that's almost all you can think about. That's some pretty effing heavy baggage coming from King of Cups, King of Wands. So it's not baby games, it's real. It's a legit story. By the way, this has been woven a thread that I have been pulling through almost every single reading. Um, it has come through with a lot of page energy up till now. So it's coming through for you at like a more evolved level, like it's serious here. which makes it harder. So yeah, releasing now at the level of the lovers. And there's our page of swords. It's creating that block. But in this part, it is curiosity. Like, you know, um, you need to release what hasn't chosen you in, in the lover's card in a sacred connection. And you need to release your curiosity as to why. Like, oh, well, maybe, well, maybe it's, things are good enough as they are, right? So there's this nine of cups is, well, it's certainly not the 10 of cups, but nine of cups is like things feel good. Things feel good, maybe things are good enough as they are. And the three of pentacles underneath, and for those who are new, when I pull from the bottom of the deck, it's either like your internal monologue, right? Like what's happening in your unconscious awareness or what your internal processing is or what's happening behind the scenes. Either way, it's something that you can't see. So it's sort of an unconscious element. And the Three of Pentacles talks about being on the same page, being cooperative, co-creative. So that's what the curiosity is about. Well, maybe we are on the same page and maybe things are just kind of going along well. Like maybe, maybe it's okay. So that's problematic because the lover's card is a card of choice and what you're being asked to release. What do you need to let go from these relationships is that what you have chosen is not choosing you. And I'm talking about this. The baggage you're carrying, there's the baggage, coming from energies that should be pretty well evolved. And all this energy that kind of stores up and churns in your mind and creates some very low self-esteem or a very negative feedback loop. Um, it may literally send you off the grid, avoidant, not wanting to deal with it head on, 
Um, it may send, it may be that you are dealing with people that make themselves unavailable or don't deal with you very honestly or move very slowly, if at all. Take what, you know, what they want, get their needs met, um, but don't really return the favor. So let's see the block, and the block is this page of swords. So it, in this part, it feels more like your curiosity, what you're, you know, like, hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm going to pull for this forgive what you need to forgive because I'm seeing something here. Queen of Pentacles twice. Page of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Never mind. This is coming through more as like, I don't want to have to start again. I don't want to have to start brand new. I don't want to have to like, go back to the drawing board and so you get stuck so that's that I just was seeing something I didn't want to miss um, or get too much further anyway it wasn't what I thought it was so the block here with the world card the world is Saturn Saturn is the great teacher and the Lord of Karma and if you've ever had a Saturn return there it's a big deal when Saturn comes back to the exact position it was in your natal chart when you were born and usually it's um flashing red lights for some of us it's crisis points for some of us or saturn also likes to pat us on the back for a job well done lesson well learned laura you didn't go through that nasty bit again right you closed out a cycle you got closure good endings and then new beginnings but it's almost like the block creates the pattern again um, because of this page of sorts. So it's like your curiosity creates a scenario where you're not grokking the lesson, right? You're, you're just, you're looking over here for like, well, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's okay. Maybe there, do you see that little maybe um, is giving you an excuse or it's keeping you um, in the driver's seat, some imagined or created sense of control, right? Like, I, I got this. I'm good. But it really is a block. Because if we're just doing the same thing over and over and over and over and, not, you know, and expecting different results, we're getting the same thing over and over. Definition of insanity. So there is a block here with perception. There is a block here that well, well, maybe, and then we're not getting the difference. What we're seeing isn't what is really there. It still isn't choosing us, not in the way uh, of the sacred connection, of the soul bond. It might be choosing us for its needs, but not for the type of a soul bond, the type of connection that we have envisioned. So just keep that in mind, because what I'm seeing here in the double hit of the Queen of Pentacles, where we need to forgive, is the forgiveness is like, right, back to the drawing board again. Um, and then the stuckness, this, right, the self-limiting beliefs, the second-guessing yourself, the I can't have nice things. It's not in the cards for me. I should be in this life. I should have that. It should be what, because that's what I envisioned. So we need to forgive ourselves. And this theme has come up too for, for a lot of signs is that we're not where we thought 
we would be at this point in a relationship. And so what does that tell us? What are we telling ourselves about that? That's the baggage. And, you know, eight of swords, nine of swords. It's splitting hairs. It's the same kind of um, mental self-torture as a result. So, for your self-love portrait, Wheel of Fortune. The bookends of the Wheel of Fortune with a dose of healthy optimism that what is meant for you will not pass you by, that the universe has a plan and that your soulmate does in fact exist. Set this as a seal upon your heart, Scorpio. This is your self-love mantra. Take a screenshot of this for yourself. Crop me out if you can, okay? I mean, it's so beautiful. It's different than any other that I've seen. It's beautiful. It should be so life affirming for you. It should be like, yes, finally. Yes. So that this is all about moving from that full moon in Pisces with the lunar eclipse to the new moon in Libra on October 2nd with a solar eclipse where releasing from the past there's south node eclipses so it's all about letting go of the past setting intentions that i'm not going to deal with my own escape hatches or anyone else's so that's done that lesson is learned saturn are you listening right not going to carry this bs baggage around anymore i'm definitely damn good enough for anybody i can go toe to toe so I am not going to worry about this crap anymore. Done. Somebody doesn't see my worth, then they're not worthy of me. Check. Right? Like what I'm going to release is what hasn't chosen me. Because that's just a waste of my, of my time and my breath. Okay? And, you know, my block here, I'm curious, like maybe things are good enough. Clearly they're not. Because here I am back at the drawing board and yeah i need to forgive that crap because if i was meant to be in this life i would be in that life spirit has another plan the universe has a bigger plan and clearly jupiter jupiter is going to reward me with the connection i meant to be in in divine time and order done and done and go Google yourself some Violet Flame if you're unfamiliar. Um, there are rituals you can do. Uh, I would do that before October 2nd if you can. So you can do yourself a new moon in Libra, which is Venus ruled and all about relationships. Violet Flame, little ceremony for yourself. Do it right, Scorpio, you or whoever you are watching, you deserve it, okay? So I'm going to head to the extended for those of you who are interested in a reading that will go into detail on the relationship you came here to watch about. So it'll be your energy and your block in that relationship, their energy and their block in that relationship, the relationship connection in general, um, divine guidance from spirit around that connection, um, and what may unfold, the outlook for the relationship going forward. So the links to that are in the description box below. You have three different options, one, two, and three. So be sure you, uh, you know, take a peek at that before you click buy, just so you know. And if you enjoyed this, if you've been watching my readings for a while and haven't yet done so, please subscribe below. That's how, that's what our energetic exchange is. And that's how I get to stay here on this platform and continue doing what I love to do most of all. So thanks in advance. I'm headed to the extended now. Wish me luck with the hurricane and I'll see you on the other side. Bye for now.